Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Edward Muñoz, and I'm here in Burton, Burton. And today, I want to show you how you can make this beautiful, amazing, fantastic cauldron. Are you ready? I'm ready. To start our project, we need to inflate the three-foot balloon black. Remember, I'm using right now the Dual Air 2. Tie your balloon. This will be the top of your project, and this is the bottom. If you need to create a stability, we need to use a 350 black balloon to get a ring on the bottom. When you're working with long balloons, like 160, 260, 350, before you tie, just make a bubble, hold, release the air, and now you have more latex in, to tie. That, that way it's easier. Now, bubble. Hold this way and twist. You're creating a pinch twist. Like that. Just, we need to shape a little bit our 350. Like that, we will use this part to stability our round balloon, okay? But before you cut it here, what I do, before I cut here, I make a bubble, cut, knot, in this bubble here, I twist and I'm creating like my second pinch to it. Cut the excess. And that's it. I will use Oasis dashes to stick that 350 to the three foot balloon. Now we will use other 350 balloon to make one similar ring here on top. The top one I made bigger. The small one I put in the bottom. The big one on top means try to this second ring will be bigger. Sometimes if you wanna make a big circle, one balloon is not enough. That's why normally I use two balloons. Remember, I'm using two balloons 350. We need to make one pink. And now we make a second pink. I always like to push a little bit my balloon because that way 
my all my air is not in this area like I'm working right now. Just I try to push away a little bit the air. Pinch. Remember, bubble and after you cut it. If you have that problem before, when that the air is complete in the end of the balloon, don't cut that balloon like that, because you will pop all that balloon. Just try to make a little bit of space. See, I have a little bit of flat space here. Cut a small hole and let it go a little by little. Make a knot. Now this bubble pinch. See, you have the two pinch tweet that will help you I like always shape it with my body because um, it's, it's easier to me. If you find other better weight for uh, work for you, you can do it. Now, we need to add all the clear balloons. I'm using five inch clear balloon in different sizes. Means, you can inflate, you can make round, and you can tie it together. I stretch the neck, wrapping around two times. One, two, and tie. And cut the extra legs. Okay, try those duplex look clean like this. If you need a lot of balloons, just repeat this process too many times you need it. The first thing like I would do is just make a quad with two clear balloons. A quad and just tie around the neck the your balloon. Cut the extra. Okay? Now, when you have that support, it's just you need one support. The rest I will use monofilament. And I will start tie all my duplex around the monofilament. See how beautiful this look was simple design that now you can use in Halloween. But the way that I tie everything with fishing line was because I use in clear balloons. You can do the same design, use all the aqua balloons that you can buy here in Burton Burton.
But if you making this a little bit a little bit more colorful, in this case was clear. But for example, you can do in green, you can do in pink. What you can do when you don't use in clear balloons, you can tie two duplex together. like this and just wrapping around to any balloon but if I do in that way you still see all the neck the balloon and I personally don't like it that's why I use the monofilament I hope you like this video this amazing design if you like it just comment below Edward I love the video see you next time